Yeah, that's why I want to know what's wrong with you now. What are your traumas? There's a lot. You get me? Yeah. If I take these shades off, bruv, this whole room will get dark. <laughs> Big man tenure is Castillo first, aka the main event, aka the sniper, bruv. Shout out to your baby, man. Now, big man tenure, we live in a world full of clout chasers, bruv, and I'm sick of it. Why can't a real G like me find some real love, bruv? Do you think I'm a clout chaser? Do um, I look like a clout chaser? Yeah. How this is gonna work is I'm actually gonna slap money in front of these gal, bruv. 1,000 for my eternal love. And I'm gonna try and find out if the gal that I'm here for the money and clout of they're there for real love, bruv. Big man team, this is clout chasers, bruv. My name is Inalva. I'm a business operations lead for community empowerment organization. I'm Portuguese Angolan. Uh, who else am I? I'm funny, I'm smart, I'm cheeky. I'm Dinalva. <laughs> I'm quite a strong woman and most of the time I tend to dominate. I know that Castillo has a bit of a powerful sort of personality, so see if he challenges me, challenge is good. It's interesting, it's spicy. And can you describe your perfect man? First and foremost, it's in here. He needs to be emotionally mature or at least willing to learn a little bit more about the inside of his head to deal with traumas, deal with the bad things that happen in life. Tall, ideally six foot, culturally aware. My must have is he has to be hardworking because that's the beginning of everything. You work hard, you'll be successful. Love is more important than money because you can get that from working hard, you can get that by luck, winning the lottery, you know, he's here today, he's gone tomorrow. Love is a bit more powerful and substantial. Do you think you can ever be with a broke man? I can, as long, again, like I said, you work hard. Working hard doesn't mean you have to be rich. It just means that you're willing to put in, you know, the effort that you need to put in to complete the task you need to complete at the best quality you can complete them. So if you're broke, I don't mind. You work hard, I'll be the smart one, it's fine. Am I here for love? Am I here for money? I'm here to see. I mean, if it's impressive enough, I'll be here for love. If not, you know, I'll take the money. I'm ready for that too. I like new bags and shoes. So we'll see. <laughs> Yo, Hello. Well nice to meet you. Nice. You oh, nice. okay. The handshake, you know. Oh yeah, God. keep formalities first. Hey, you look nice. You don't know, get the chair for me. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's heavy. You, you look have... nice. Thank you, so do you, I like your fur. Oh, thank you, I like the, I like the material. That's, that's you feel like it? velvet in that. It's silky. Jeez, that's nice. Mm. You got an accent, I gotta ask you straight away. Where you from? I'm Angolan. Mm, Angolan like Portuguese. That. What about you? Don't know, don't know. Take a guess, I want you to guess. Castillo, that sounds Spanish. Is that your real, like, Last name, yeah, government things. Okay, you might be Carib you'll definitely be Caribbean, mm. right? Yeah, you're uh, halfway. You're good, you're good, you're warm. Maybe like Guyana or something. You're good, aren't you, but not Guyana, but you're good. Oh. You're close, you're close. Where are you from? Dominican and Grenadian. Oh, Domin people always ask me from Dominican. Not Dominican Republic, though. Oh, Dominica. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's see. cool. You're the first I've met from there. For real? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, 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 mm. nice. That's a mad thing. Yeah. So look, yeah, you know what this is about, yeah? You're going to give me a ring. A ring, mm. so what, like a like an onion ring thing, like. No, I I came. I for think diamonds. they got that here, you know. I, I came that for too. diamonds. Diamonds. It's either love, money, or diamonds. I like diamonds. Man, thing we gotta go Sierra Leone for that. Oh, I'm Angolan. Yeah. We got some there. Ooh, mm. I like that. I like that. You see, now you already know what this is about, yeah. I'm basically trying to find real love, and basically I want to find out if the girl I'm here for the money and clout, or if they're here for real love. What are you looking for? <sighs> I'm looking for a challenge. A challenge? Yeah, I look, I'm looking for somebody to entertain my mind. You seem like you got like some bossy aura. I'm a dangerous woman, they say. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of danger are we talking about? Mm, I know a lot. You can get a lot of men sent away kind of thing. Like. I can do a lot. I'm a bit of a magician. Mad thing. So you can just make the man them disappear, one call. I know Angolan women, they can get you disappearing. Like, they can I mean, you if you know your powers as a woman, then mm. you, you know. So now this leads to my, qu my first question i got to ask you, yeah? No. I do a madness, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now the feds come through, they lock me up, send me to jail, they're saying that I'm facing 25. Mm -hmm. I'm facing 25 years, I can't even wrap my way out of it like some man out here. What did you do? Yeah, it's a mad thing. Somebody got rude, I had to mark off their whole family, I had to lick off his head <laughs> and his whole family tree. The whole family tree's gone, they're ghosts now. Oh, wow. Yeah? That's so heavy. now they're telling me I've got to go away. Are you going to hold it down? Depends on how you treated me before. We've only been going out for a year. Mm, did you buy me diamonds? That's why I did the mad thing, to get you the diamonds. 
Mm, did you treat me nice? Of course. Massage my back and my feet. Of course. Cook for me sometimes. Don't know. Got the baby oil out. You get me. Got the got yeah. the redox in the bath. I'll be there for you. Don't you lie. Are you telling the truth? I swear. For the whole twenty-five. Yeah. You're gonna be have grey hairs by that I time. I think you underestimate my loyalty. Mm. I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, dangerous. dangerous. Dangerous, but we're dangerous. honest. We're loyal. We're optimistic. We're good humoured. We're mm. the sun in human form. The Sagittarius, you guys are free spirit. You like to travel. You like to move. Yeah, about. don't you like to travel? I love to travel. There you go. You get me. I went to like Birmingham the other day. <laughs> okay. Well, I used to live in Coventry, so I was in Birmingham. Mmm. Don't know. Don't know. That's a good thing. Yeah. What do you think about the Birmingham accent? Shout out to the Birmingham people. I like accents. Obviously, I've got one. I can't discriminate, can I? So you're like, oh, let's go into the city centre. From Birmingham? Yeah, for that stuff. Go. Yeah, I've yeah, got a family that lives there, so. Matting, matting. You see, I'm from West London, though. You get me? It's the home of the, home of the matting, but you we're sweet as well. do not talk like a West London person. You said you're loyal. Yeah. So what's your longest relationship? Five years. Five years? You committed? Mm. Woo. I don't even know men from five years ago. I don't even know people I went to school with for five years. And he would have been longer if he was doing right as well. What did, what did he do wrong? Oh, it's a what was story. He, was he doing a madness? You, you have to promise me love if you want to know the rest. Mm. So did he cheat? Well, I not that I caught, but yeah. You know, probably. You, you know he was moving. But right. it's like... What country was he from? Niger. Ah, got you, got you, got you, got you. That's a mad thing. That trouble. Mm. But the Caribbeans are not much better. Yeah, man, I don't know, man, but we're, we're calm, I can tell it? by your hair, like, the vanity tells me. The vanity? Because like, ah, I brush my hair. That's you might be trouble. What you are know, you like in the relationship? What's, what was your longest story? Do you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I used to be on a mad thing. So I'm trying to change up my life. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I used to be on a very mad thing. I didn't know where I was going. I was lost. And then I found myself, so now I've got to move different. Have you been in a relationship before? Yeah, I've been in long-term long? relationships. The thing is, back then, I was seeing Bear Girl, so there was many longs. I can't even, like I said, some of them people I don't even remember. It's, it's I mess. like your honesty. I've got to be honest. That's what I'm saying. That's what it's about. Money and clout versus love. So I've got to be honest. Okay, cool. Yeah? So let me ask you something, yeah? Do you satisfy you sexually? When you know your body, mm. it's, you can do anything. It's magic. See, so man was a DJ, like, with a dex, like, yo. Well, mixing. it didn't need to be a DJ. I DJ my own self. It's Damn, fine. You DJ your own it's self. That's yes. good. You know your body. What's your thing, then? What's, what do you like? Do you know what? It's not about... The action, I feel like it's about a connection. The connection. It's the language, the body mm. language. If you pick up on it, if you got that magic, then it's good. If it's not, true. then... Because you know when you're really into someone, you get that animal love. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that. yeah. You, you just... You want to lick their sweat. <laughs> you, you just sense yeah. it. You feel the spirit. Yeah. You feel the language. Everything. You feel it all. You, you want to lick yeah. their sweat. You want to grab them up. You just grab their foot like, mm, you want to do all of that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like an animal. If I'm, it feels a, right, if it feels right, I'm if that's you, what you're reading, then I'm become fair. a different man. It's a mad thing. Yeah. Wait, how old are you? Don't worry about that. Why? Yeah, don't don't you want to know how old I am? I do, because okay. I need to be known if you're some legal thing, because you might not be able to drink this. So how old are you? How old do you think? Well, it better be of age, because I'm about to done off this whole thing right now, bro. What do you think? You'll this. be surprised, I think. Most people get it really wrong. 25. Oh, that's cute. No, I'm 29. Big gal, see that's yeah. come on, let's chase that. Let's, let's big, <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking there about, man. That's what what I'm is talking. this? No, I, uh, I don't know. It's semantic. Cool. Yeah, I mean, don't worry, it's not no Bill Cosby thing. Like it's good. It's so cool. Fine. I they, need they to wouldn't, know. They I need to smell you if it's not spiked or something. I don't know. Never. You've uh, been on a mad thing before. No, so no, no. Oh, no. never that. Wait, 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 wait. How old are you then? Don't worry about that. Why? Pressure and pain on all digital platforms coming real soon. That's what we're gonna talk about. So you're one of those ones. So you ask me my age. You don't tell me yours. We're good. What's your name then? Your full name. Castillo. That's my government name, my last name. Either your name or your age. I need something. Well, my name Castillo. Castillo what? And it's not Castillo, it's Castillo. See, I'm glad you told me how to pronounce it because... Do you know what it means? Castle. Castle. Don't know, don't know, don't know. It's quite good, it's powerful. I learned that, I learned that, I learned It's powerful. Yeah, Castle. So you made me feel good about myself. That's what I like. I, li mm. I like that. Yeah, so this is what I want to ask you. So you've come on a thing, money or clout. Are you looking for love? I am looking for the right love, not just any love. What's the wrong love? Toxic love. Mm, but toxic love, it feels good though. It feels good. You like it feels good until you know, it You want that brother it. standing outside your house like, yo, look me in. If, no, 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 no. I want him to be standing outside my door and I open the door and I see and I'm like, wow, baby, you got those like, flowers you get for out? me. These diamonds are for me. I'm really that beautiful to you. Diamonds, so what's this nigga doing for a living with the diamonds? That's, that's, that's I don't know, work hard. 
It's up to you what you do. Was he working in Canary Wolf and that? He's got a good... I mean, do you know what? Toxic love, it is nice. You know, you feel first like, oh, you know, falling in love. You're the most amazing thing in the world until it goes wrong. Mm, when it goes wrong, that's when it's a mad thing. Yeah, that's why I want to know what's wrong with you now. What are your traumas? There's a lot. You get me? Yeah. If I take these shades off, bruv, this whole room will get dark. I want to see. I'm not scared. So I've got to get to know you first. That's why we're here. Are you scared of my eyes? Pressure and pain on all digital platforms, babe. Okay, but at least you're, you're, so you're working pain. hard. You're working hard promoting yourself. Like, of course, you know, like of course, that. of course. But so let me ask, so what do you do? Like, you look like you've got a big boy job. You look like you do serious things. Well, I like to think I do. Mm -hmm. I'm a business operations lead. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the real thing. Like, you you have to apply for that. That's good. You want to hear the next bit? Go on. For community empowerment organization. So I work to empower and educate our community, the Don't black, know. the youth. Don't know. And emerging creatives. I like that because there's a lot of men out here moving mad, bruv. You've got to get them out of the streets and killing yes. people, bruv. It's mad. Just help help us all grow and get to success. Let it, everybody be like you. Don't know, don't know. We might yeah. do business if we don't fall in love. Big man. Sing. Right. See, I like that. See, you're, you're thinking ahead. You're thinking Always. ahead. Sounds like you want some money, though. I don't feel like you want love, though. I'm just... I don't want money. Do you know what the funniest thing is? Oh. Everybody has always asked me, what do you want? Do you want money? you want to be successful? No, I want... The power of influence. That's the only way you can make a change. Mm. And power of influence means you don't actually need money because your word is enough to get what you want. Damn, you see, that's that, that's that good talk that you do. I like that. You see, that's how you get the man <laughs> them. That's how you get their business. So why should I pick you? What separates you from all the other gal? What do you bring to the table? I think you can tell already. I think that a combination of who I am as a person is extremely unique. I have mm. a strong history behind me from Angola from my family. I love that. I'm a beautiful mix. I'm extremely intelligent if I may say so. Mm -hmm. I got three degrees. Um, I work hard. I'm very loyal. I'm a ride or die type of girl. I'm smart but I'm also street smart. I'm a solution provider for most things and I know how to love. So what's your thoughts on sex on a first date then? I don't think it's a good thing. Mm, why not though? Because when you engage in you know sexual activities with somebody you exchange energy and you need to check people's energy first before you kind of open that portal I'm, up i'm gonna toast you to that yeah tell you yeah. why because i've been with some crazy gal bruv and i'm like why did i do that bruv? why did i stick yeah. my willy in there bruv now my whole life's in disarray now mm -hmm. you won't leave me alone come to yeah. my house at mad times literally i'm like, gonna get an injunction on you bruv it's do you need that in your life no go cut go the headache people. from the beginning by just holding on a little bit longer test the energy test the waters a bit mm. ask the questions and then take the step. What's bad sex? How long do you give a guy before you're like, nah, your willy's dead, bruv. I can't, I can't deal with that. Do you know what? <laughs> I feel like I can tell by, you know, speaking to people what their personality is like, if it's going to be good or not. Mm, so shout out to the small willy man out there, bruv. You don't live in a hard life, bruv. <laughs> you get me? Go get a, go get a DBO, bruv. Go, go, to, go to Columbia, bruv. Get a DBO. Extend your shit, bruv. Big man too. Do you want me to tell you what I think about you so far? I need you to. Go on. I need you to tell me. I think that you've got moves. I think you could be good, but I think you might be a bit overconfident. Mm. So you oh, might have to be said like, hold on, babe, not that, not there yet. No, 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 slow, slow, slow. No, not that whole, this one. Oh, please, wait, 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 that's too hard. Chill, chill, chill. With love, caution. Oh, slow, have easy. You, have you? <laughs> my CV's mad, yeah, so... The, I, well, I, I can got, tell. I've got, I've got that's always a good sign, though, that you know that, right? No, no, of course, but at the same time, like... You gotta test out the waters, you gotta let it marinate. Like I can't just be running in there and just try to tear it up, bruv. That's a madness. I gotta I gotta take time, you gotta explore the girl limbs body. You get me like the nipple touch, you like the nipple, just just a bit of that. You'll be able to yeah, know it's all like an it's like a Of course. Yeah, me. Some men some men they don't do that. They get in the they get in the room, no full play, it's like, yo, come on, babe, let's do this thing. I can't do that. Yeah, no, that's yeah, a bit much. You gotta take bad. it easy. You gotta get to know the person first, yeah. you know. And then let me ask you something. Mm. Like, I'm a freaky guy. You get me? Yeah. I I'm a freaky guy. Like I like I like my girl to be freaky, do you get me? Like, I like, I like the sloppy head. I like the head when it's sloppy. I like that shit where I like saliva and dribble everywhere. <laughs> I like that mad thing, yeah? Cool. What are you like? Are you a freaky person? Are you like, are you in the bed and then you're planking? Like, what, what's going on with that? What do you think? Do you want me to be honest with you? Be honest. I think you're on a mad thing. I think, I think... <laughs> I th I what thought, makes you say that? Nah, I could tell. I, I feel. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like you could change a man's life. Yeah, that's why I say. I, I feel know like they exactly. run you. I feel like they run you down after. You can tell already why you should be picking me over other people. Course, I don't I need to say much. I right? could tell. I could tell. Like literally, a man will go mad over that non bread. <laughs> Hundred percent. Went round second, second and thirds. I think so. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, six, seven, forever. Eight. Give me a ring straight away. That's why I said I came for my ring. So the non bread's so good they want to give you a ring afterwards. It's easy to fall in love with me, but it's hard to handle me. When you say hard to handle you, what does that mean? 
I think I'm a challenging woman in the sense that I step on an ego's like sensitivity a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you're a sensitive man with a sensitive ego, you really so need you to check yourself. So you tell a man, you tell a man, like, yo, your willy's small, bruv. Don't be chatting shit, bruv. Lower the bass in your voice when you chat to me if that's small <laughs> willy, bruv. Get out of it. No, no, no. If you annoy me, I go a bit formal and therefore I patronize you and kind of make you feel a little bit dumb. And I think that's not good. Mm. You know, guys tend to have sensitive So you can egos. get in a man's head and then just mash him up. Yeah. Mm. That's why I said I'm a dangerous woman. So you said you're dangerous. So what's the craziest thing you've ever done to an ex to get revenge? I don't do revenge. You don't do revenge? No. You know, like the energy you put into the world is always reciprocated. So if you put bad energy, it's going to come back to you. So when they do something bad to me, I know I forget at them at mm. some point. See, that's what we're different. Like, I'm a bit of a petty person. What did you I'm do? I'm a bit of a petty person. I'll literally try and find out what happened to your life. See, if you fell off, you became a nitty. I want to see that. I want to ride past and be like, yo, look at you, idiot. Isn't uh, that a headache, though? It is. So you've got to let that go. But I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'll learning. teach you. I th see, I like that. I like that. See, that's the whole point. You've got to grow and build and learn. Of course. Have you been with any celebrities? Mm -mm. You dated any rappers? Yeah. Ooh. That was my ex-boyfriend. But he ex wasn't a celebrity. <laughs> He was a rapper. He was a very talented person. I'll give when him you that. Say, so when you say he wasn't a celebrity, he was what like? He was popular. He just got in the studio, just making things that nobody ever hear in their life. Like. No, you'd hear them. He's good, but what's his best song? So he's got this song with um, what's his name, Young Saber, and some other guy. What's his name, Hachi or something. It's quite nice. Big man ting, shout out to him, pressure and pain on all digital platforms. <laughs> promote do you know what? Do you know what? But do you know why I don't mind dating whoever I date? I actually, through him, I learned to do sound engineering. Ooh, yeah. so he taught you something. That's important. Taught me a lot. Taught Five years is a long time. He taught me a lot about the road. He taught me a lot about music. Tell you about the road. Why do you teach you about the road? Why do you teach you about the road? Plenty, plenty. So I what, know you, how you to speak your lingo too. You was you, did you ever hide some things in the. No, it wasn't that deep, but it's just more about like tactics and strategies to survive in the streets of London. I mm. learned that a lot from him. People's bank details and things like that. <laughs> the next thing you're in the Maldives, that's why you're smiling right now. I you're just like, told yeah. you, I know a lot of things about a lot of things. Mm. <laughs> Would you ever date a man that's broke? Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, what do you mean by broke? Like, he has no money. I'm talking about, like, I can't make the ends meet. The ends ain't meeting. The ends are, like, way over here and they don't want to meet. Well, if I love him, the first thing I'll do is say, babes, why are the ends not meeting? What's wrong? Mm. How are you feeling? That's always the solution. What if he says I'm focusing on my music career and things just ain't popping? What's your plan to get to the popping part? He says I need to holler at Stormzy and do a tune with him. Do you have the money to do so? Nah, babes. How he are says, babes, I need some of your money. Can you give it to me so I can get to that? Can we find another alternative before we get to Stormzy? Because it's quite big. You need to have steps in between. So you need to plan. It's so you've got to do a track with Wavy Stabman, some random nobody knows him. It's okay because then you can promote it. There's ways to promote I know people that can, you know. Mm. I told you I'm resourceful. Very resourceful. So being broke doesn't always mean that it's a bad thing. It depends on your situation. I'm understanding. So when you say resourceful, are you known in these streets? Because the streets, they do talk. You know, the streets, they, they just send me messages. The streets just talk. The streets. Is your name clean out here in these streets? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people would have probably seen my face. Mm. They don't know my name, but they will know from mm. now. Like, that's power right there. You get me? I like that. You've got control. You know what you're doing. Yeah, you know I'm trying to I say that's a beautiful you. thing. I don't want money. I want power. That's a beautiful <laughs> thing. So let me ask Thank you this. You. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? <laughs> this is the first date. What kind of question is that? Mm, see, that's, that's good. <laughs> see? You didn't fall for the traps. You just, I like a lot of risky things. Like, mm. I, like, I want to go do things in public. You get me? I want to do all these different things. Sounds kinds. exciting. So you like that excitement? Yeah, I like exciting things. I like to think outside the box, experiment. Mm, experimenting is good. Nothing too mad, though. No, but you no. got to be open-minded. That's the only What's thing. What's your that. definition of open-minded, though? It's like, if it somewhat makes sense, why not try it? Don't knock it till you try it, you know what I mean? What well, if he's like, yo, babes, I want you to peg me? Oh, no, I think that's a bit extra. Yeah, but it's mad in it. That's a bit extra. Okay. That, that kind of reveals other parts of you that I probably won't like. Because mm. why do you need that to be done? But some there's man, other alternatives to Some that. men like from freaky things. So if, if you really love the guy and he said, yo, babes, I got you this gimp suit with a strap on thing. Like, you got to go ham on me. <laughs> no. I mean, maybe for OnlyFans, if he's going to give mm, you a lot only of cash. Fans. Would you ever but do OnlyFans? I think so. But yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, because when the money starts dropping, people won't be judging and saying, oh, mm. she's on OnlyFans. They'll be enjoying with you at the table, popping champagne. See, I've always wanted to do OnlyFans. I like OnlyFans because I feel like I've got a lot you of You haven't show. done it. I thought you'd have done it no. by now. You seem like you're not as quick as you say. No, I'm trying to be the president. You get me? I'm trying to have a. I'm trying to be like Boris Johnson, baby. You get me? So what are you doing for that? 
since obviously I work in community empowerment. Mm, so can we can we can empower together. Yeah. Before I can't work for the feds though. Like I'm no, 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 no. I'm African. We can't do that. We, Manting. we like to work outside the rules sometimes. Mm, work outside the rules. See, I like I like your speed. That, that's <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> what do you like most about me? Like, what's your impressions? Like, what's my what's my best feature? You got good skin. Mm. That means you probably drink plenty of water. I drink a lot of water. Good you get me a lot of melanin. melanin. Good hair, strong, thick. Thank you. That's See, a lot of men, they don't, they don't drink water. That's why their face is looking like a Snickers bar. Right? No. Or razor bumps. They think it's it. moist to take care of themselves. It's not. It's health. Nah, big man thing. Shout out to Nivea, bruv. Cream your skin. How old are you then? I need to know because obviously your skin, you don't have like... Pressure and pain on all digital platforms. Nah, it's coming well, real soon, sky. bruv. Let's say some famous rapper comes around. Yeah, mm. super famous. He's got money. He's got an eye outside. Yeah, you got the jewels shining, glistening, the that got a tracksuit and that looking all good. Yeah. And let's say for me, I'm bummy. Like literally, my box was a mad thing. I just turned that shit inside out. My life is mad. <laughs> yeah? Cool. Like literally, right now, we're so broke, I'm doing like a little picnic date right now. Mm. Yeah. So then let's say we're chilling, about to catch the bus, tap our little oysters and that. Man comes up, pulls up with a nice R8. He's like, mm. yo, babes, you looking Chris? Are you staying with me? Or are you going with him? At the risk of sounding really rude, I feel like only women that are not used to attention will react in a way where they have to chase him. Mm. I'm too used to people saying, hey, you're beautiful. It's nothing. Mm. I like it that. It has I like to be that. a mental connection. Mm. This, the looks, everything is too shallow. I know what I look like. I like that. So you need to connect with my mind. I like that. So what do you think about girls that go to the bay and all that, like that, that get flown out? Have you ever been flown out? No. You I travel on my own. Mm. You got your own money. I like that. Mm. I mean, each to their own. You do what you want. Use your power as a woman to enjoy. Why not? Mm. But for me, I don't know. My mom taught me different. She's very uh, independent and, you know, very strong with five women in the house. So mm. I love that. I love yeah. that. So let's say when I went to your parents' yard, what would their first impressions be of me? Oh, okay. So first of all, the gold teeth. My mom would be like, D, come on, what are you doing? Are you sure? Then the tattoo sounds like, looks dangerous. Mm -hmm. But I think they would appreciate the fact that you're Caribbean. I think the Spanish name would kind of give mm -hmm. a bit of edge because Portuguese and Angolan would be very kind of connected with like mm -hmm. Caribbean and Latin culture. So it would give me some so. favor. It would me some favor of my last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't say brav, that would oh, be nice. If I don't say brav, it's mad. It's if okay. you like soften up a little bit, it should mm -hmm. be okay. I like that. I like, see, I like your way of thinking. Yeah, so you're not a materialistic person, you're not all of that, like, you don't, but then you want the diamonds. What, what, what's that saying? I'm not materialistic in general, but I like diamonds. I'm Angolan, you see my blood. Mm. My dad used to deal with diamonds a lot when we were younger, so I've got fascination. So that's what it. you're used to? That's what I'm used to. So then if a guy can't buy you diamonds, it's just, it just can't work? It can work. I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be, to be successful, so I don't really need to rely on my man to, mm. you know, bring too much cash, as long as he brings the hard work. So you're a generous person, so do you give the man anything? Like, what about me? Like, what are you going to get me? I'm stupid generous. Stupid I generous. wish I wasn't. I'm a sucker mm, for love. Tell me more about that. <laughs> very generous, Literally, right? what is mine is yours, what is yours is yours. So what's yours is mine? Is yeah, you, well, not yet. It depends. I mean, you have to impress me, isn't it? So then I'm like, oh, babe, like I'm low, like I'm low on cash. Like, give me a little fifty pound. Like, it's so easy. Pound. I don't know why people don't do that more often. See, I like that. See, you're an honest person. I like that. When is your birthday? July. I'm a cancer. Oh, you guys are meant to be successful. Most successful zodiac. Yeah, shmoney. See, I, see I, I like that. You, you're you teaching me things about me. Come That's on. Dope. I didn't even know that. <laughs> What's I the conversation no for, innit? If you went on a on a date with a guy and he didn't pay on the first date, would that bother you? If you invited me, you pay for sure. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, of course. Invitation. That's standard. But if we both decide to go together, I would, normally I would um, offer to split. I think it's polite. So let me ask you this: What's your type of guy? Like, I know it's me, obviously, but I'm saying in general. Uh, six foot tall six minimum. Foot. Yeah. Six foot tall minimum. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I could, that means I can go to Lithuania and get a Lithuanian leg lift. Or you get get six well, eight soon. Ideally, this is the thing, right? I've spoken to my friends about it, and you know, like my dad, strong black man, and you know, he's the first person that I fell in love with as a man, you know, like that idea. So I'm looking for a big, strong African man. Mm. However, I'm also very realistic. I know that African men are trouble. Mm. They have a lot of trauma they haven't dealt with. That's ideally, like I would like to have a strong black man that is emotionally mature mm. and willing to work on his traumas and grow from within. That's like free man, bruv. That's mad. You just 
I know. We're I got ting down. That's like three men out here, bro. I don't I'm going to be like single that, forever life. then in that case, right? Man ting. Now, but see, I'm not going to lie, but it's sounding it's like It's too much want, for you, isn't it? It's sounding like you want the donors, the pesos. It sounds like you want the monies, man. I want everything. You want everything? I'm close to everything as a woman, I believe. Look, right? I like to look good. I like nice things. I like designer. I like to travel. I like all the amazing stuff in the world, right? Mm -hmm. I do. But that doesn't stop me from loving somebody the right way, as I did. I'm I like generous, give everything. Oh, I'm so honest and truthful. No matter what you do to me, I will not cheat. I will not talk to someone else. I'll just be mm. like, why, babe, why? And so you've never cheated ever in your life? No. Swear to God. I swear, 29 years. And no matter what you do to me, I don't. I'd rather break up first and then. So a man's never cheated on you before. You know what? I need to get that to your best friend, you know. He's got to have that for like two minutes. Let me just, let me just let him borrow that. I pass the ball. I swear I've been cheated on. But I, I've never caught it, so I don't really care. So you've never been in a relationship, looked at your man and just thought like, "Raw, like you look kind of dusty, bruv. Like you look a bit crusty today." I got and good taste. Mm. I don't get myself into those situations without, you know, being pleased visually. So are you a looks or are you a money person? What are you on? Is it I looks? Which is more important? Why looks do you keep talking about money? You seem to be the sort of person that likes money, or maybe you're traumatized. I've been down before, and I know what it's like having no money, so I know you need it. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, and I, I know what it's like to have to make that ten pound last for for a month. Yeah. Now you got eat. Now you got eat Jacob's crackers, bruv. You know As I mean? a woman that doesn't rely on men, I have to do a lot for myself. So, so I know what it feels like to stretch. I've studied, so I've been a student. I know what it feels like to stretch. I'm, I'm a, the daughter of a single mother immigrant. I know what it feels like to stretch. So I you got to drink that tap avion. You got to drink that tap volvic. No, 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 never tap. Never, never tap. tap. But when when you ain't got it. The tap becomes, that's champagne No, now. no, 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 no. You prioritise, you save things, you know. As a woman, this is the thing. A good woman will always have a reserve for the priorities, which are, will be food mm -hmm. and a roof. My mum taught me that. So you ever been broke before? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> How broke? What, what kind of broke are we talking about? I've not been able to buy clothes for over a year, you know, where you're hustling, you're grinding. So what kind of clothes, though? Like, were you talking about designer clothes? No, like, just clothes, where you actually have to go absolutely zero to be able to make it to the other side the sacrifices that you make and it's no big deal it's like going uh, for a run i like that you see i like that that means you've been through the trenches i like a woman that's been through the trenches why do you think understand. i talk like this mm, so you've been through the trenches I've i like that you've seen some hardships oh yeah so i've had a great date with you real yeah. talk i've had an amazing date with you You're great yeah how's it been for you yeah, it's been good. It's been interesting. I thought you were going to be more challenging, though. If I was going to be, I'm an easygoing guy. I'm not horrible. <laughs> yeah, you are I'm a, a little nice bit guy. more easygoing. You look more rough on TV, actually, like in terms of how you present yourself. No, the main so event you, is a nice you guy. You've got I'm some nice suaviness to you. You're kind of smooth. I like so that. Yeah, I like that. I like <laughs> that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's say we're taking a leap of faith right now, yeah? Cool. And I put down 1,000. Yeah, cool. 1,000 GBP, bro. Pounds, bro, with a queen's face on it. The yeah, real, real things. things, yeah? Mm -hmm. Would you choose the money? Or would you choose pursuing love? Would you pursue love or choose the Danas? Well, from what you can tell from how we've spoken, do you really think I'd be choosing the money if I have a good chance at love? Mm. A thousand pounds is not that much. I like that. You can make that. Yeah, so let's just cheers to a beautiful day. And beautiful. Chin chin. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Keep your hands above the waist. Hands above the waist. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. Have a good nice time. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Get me. Have a safe journey Thank home. Thank you. Big man sing it. But he was mad cuz in the face. But that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to have to sort that out cuz. I'm going to have to sort that out, man. Wow. You? I'm good. You're like one tall glass of water. My God. Oh, so can, I, can I drink it? I'm scared. Can she drink that, Bev? Don't yes. be moving mad, you lot. You get it's me? Illegal. The vibe I'm getting right now is you like black guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>